My name is Viktor Sidov and I am uh, the president of uh, US-Russia Center for Entrepreneurship based in Moscow with offices in Nizhny Novgorod and St. Petersburg. US-Russia Center for Entrepreneurship uh, was the initiative of US-Russia Investment Fund and it was launched in 2002. The fund itself is a private equity fund. Through its activity, through the years, there was a problem to find Russian entrepreneurs who really understand how private equity works and why uh, you have uh, to give a seat uh, on your board to uh, a manager and why you should be transparent to attract foreign direct investment. And so many things were not clear that the fund decided to launch the center to help Russia to develop entrepreneurship in a broader sense and work with entrepreneurs and train entrepreneurs and help them network and so on and so forth. The Russia Center for Entrepreneurship uh, uh, runs a number of programs for entrepreneurs, for those who are already in business. Then we understand that Russia needs more entrepreneurs because of that, we work a lot with universities. We do send Russian professors to learn how to teach entrepreneurship at Harvard Business Schools, and they come back and then develop their programs, and they work with entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, a lot of other programs are in this field, like we are now supporting Global Entrepreneurship Student Award, is for those students who are already in the school, and at the same time, they run their businesses. Uh, our center is the host of so-called Global Entrepreneurship Week. It's a global effort. Uh, more than 100 countries involved, millions of people. And again, the main purpose is to promote entrepreneurship among young people under 30. And now we are the part of G20 Young Entrepreneur Summit, another effort uh, quite new. And the purpose of this movement is to meet uh, before the real G20 summit meetings to develop special communique that goes on the table of uh, those uh, uh, country leaders with recommendations what they have to do and change in the area of uh, policies uh, and entrepreneurship for young people. But when you're dealing with successful people that are growing their businesses very fast, they need really knowledge, they need access to capital, they need networks, that's what we are uh, existing for. The main challenges that we face and that the Russia, face, uh, Russia faces is how to bring young people uh, to become entrepreneur. Russia needs more entrepreneurs than we have today, many times, and it's a policy of Kremlin, it's a policy of the government. Uh, in 10 years, uh, uh, they want to see up to 60% of Russian population employed by SMEs. They want the in, uh, input of SMEs to GDP much, much higher than today. Russia lags behind China, Germany, United States in this area. I think today maybe 20% only are employed by SMEs and the input to GDP is around 20% too, very, very low. So where you can find new entrepreneurs only among young people? How to uh, make entrepreneurial career for them interesting and attractive. That's the largest challenge because if you go to university and ask a student who is ready to graduate, what are your plans for the future? The answer, very often, 95% will be, well, I want to work for the state. I want to work for large corporation like Gazprom or Lukoil or maybe foreign large bank like Citibank. But they're not saying, oh, I want to start something on my own. And uh, to do this, it's, it's, it's a big challenge that we're trying to address. And uh, for that, we work a lot uh, with universities and we are trying to develop entrepreneurship education in Russia. The current state of Russian entrepreneurship uh, is a mix of uh, hopes, uh, disappointments, uh, uh, hopes because uh, a lot was done by the government uh, in recent history as the reaction to the world financial crisis to make, uh, to make it much easier for small business uh, to exist and, and to grow. But on the other uh, side, probably again because of the crisis, uh, Russia recently from uh, January 1st raised uh, so-called social tax on small businesses and for many it uh, became very complicated and uh, in fact the number of small businesses goes down because of that. Opportunities are basically uh, everywhere, but um, maybe because of a significant emphasis of the Russian government to technological entrepreneurship and innovation and projects like Skolkova, I think uh, the popularity of those will be 
uh, growing. And uh, uh, the number of entrepreneurs who are not in uh, commerce, but in uh, manufacturing and uh, launching new projects, new services, uh, uh, will be growing. And we are trying to address it uh, through our effort with, uh, together with Intel, we'll develop new special training for university professors and then it will go to uh, students and uh, participants of business incubators and uh, innovation camps and it's uh, a special training on uh, technology entrepreneurship and it will be done in cooperation with Berkeley, MIT, Stanford uh, and we plan to launch this program this year. Very closely connected to them is Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year program, for example, competition. And we are the largest sponsor of that competition already nine years and we nominate people and I'm the judge. Why would do that? Because this society uh, needs very much role models and success stories.